Hey guys, Bloss1000 here, and welcome back to some more Pikmin. In the last episode, we arrived in the distant spring, and we took care of some stuff there. We found two ship parts. And in this episode, we're going to be returning to the impact site for the first time in a while. So, let's go do that. Because uh, in the impact site, uh, like I said yesterday, today will be a double day. We will be re doing two days in a single day. <laughs> or episode, I guess. Two days in a single day is like a paradox. That's not even possible. So, as you can see... This place has a ton, and I mean a ton of pellets. Like, there's so much we can do here. This is a great place to come if you uh, are running low on Pikmin. But, the first thing we're going to actually want to do is get out all of our blues, because, if I recall correctly, I might be wrong, I might get them mixed up, and if I do, I'm sorry about that. But, uh, once all these guys are out, it takes a while, I'm sorry, uh, let's actually go back here. And let's go up onto the little tree root thing. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, by the way, this is an, yeah, this is an iridescent glint beetle. I, I'm sorry, flint beetle, not a glint beetle. Glint beetle. Glint, glint beetle is an entirely different species. Um, a creature, not species, but yeah. So these guys, they actually drop a ton of cool stuff if you manage to land a Pikmin onto their back. So it's a really, really good thing to attack them. I don't really think we need to attack them right now because, um, wait. Wait a second, uh, oh, oh, of course, of course, of course, of course, yep, yeah, waste red pellets, I don't care anymore. Alright, so anyways, uh, now that we have all of our Pikmin, except for one, where the, oh yeah, it must have just been, yeah, it was just a Pikmin that got sprouted, whatever, I will get him after. So, anyways, back here, let's finally go back up here, um, and up here, I've been saying up here a lot, I just keep repeating myself. Oh yeah, I was wrong, it's a different enemy, this is a Mamuta, a Mamuta is... Yeah, wrong enemy. I was not. I was expecting it to be a different enemy, but yeah. Basically, on day eight and any other um, even numbered days onward, uh, Mamutas will appear. And these guys are completely harmless, but what they actually do is a bit annoying. What they will actually do is they will basically put all of your Pikmin into the ground. They will basically uh, just put your Pikmin back into the ground. So that's a lot of Pikmin that we gotta pluck now. That is gonna take quite a while. So unfortunately, we're gonna be spending the next little while plucking some Pikmin. Oh my god, this is such an annoying task. Um, Mamutas, of course, they're pretty harmless, but just the fact that they can just put so many of your Pikmin into the ground is just one of the most annoying things ever created by man. And back there, you can actually see some other new enemies. We saw them way back on day one. They're pretty much technically the first enemy we encountered, because we actually saw them back on day one. They're called Pearly Clam Clamps. Uh... I don't really- I can't really explain what they'll do right now, but, well, once we get over there, we can uh, discuss it. And finally, we have all of our Pikmin plucked out of the ground. Jesus, that took forever. Wait, is that all of them? Please tell me that's all of them. I hope it is. Uh, we'll give this guy to the blues, just because I feel like it. Um, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to be spending the rest of the day actually gathering up- raising our Pikmin numbers, not gathering up our Pikmin numbers. Uh, because, of course, there's still a lot of pellets. Then on day nine, because we're going to be doing a, a double day today- Day 9, we're going to just be doing some other stuff, because like I said, there's another enemy that will appear up there on day 9 and onward. So yeah. Yep, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Our, our reds... Oh, sorry, our blues, not our reds. Jeez, I can't get anything right in this Let's Play. I'm just like, I'm stumbling on my own words a lot. Uh, but after this, we'll just go uh, collect a bunch of pellets. And also, we'll uh, go deal with that those pearly clam clamps I was talking about. So, get these guys plucked. I That's exactly 100 yellows. Um, or probably more than 100, but def still definitely good enough. <laughs> I don't really think we need to deal with the one pellets right now. Maybe there'll be something we'll do at the end of the day. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so we'll get out, say, 60? Sure, 60 sounds good to me. Because uh, we're going to be needing them to get those, uh, those things back. And we'll get out some yellows. And we'll get out, uh, so yeah, we'll need three yellows. Oh, wait, no, we'll need way more than three. Uh, or will we? Let, let's just bring out six just to be safe. Oh, that's seven. Whatever. Uh, and we'll need to be bringing out only three reds. Uh, so yeah, once we got that out, uh, we'll go deal with those pearly clam clams. Because that's, that's actually where our next ship part is. And, because of course we're not going to be going a day without collecting a ship part. Uh, so we'll do that. <laughs> Anyways, let's go back here. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. Let's just, uh, get our 
Let's just get our yellows uh, to blow down the gate, and then we'll bring our blues up so we, they can take out the pearly clam clams, because in case you didn't notice, the pearly clam clams, a lot of them are in the water, so we'll just use our blues to take them out. And we'll get to, in, well, in a second we'll get into what they do exactly, because what they do, they're not very difficult, but uh, just like any other enemy, they have some minor annoyances that you have to deal with. So, let's go up here. Oh, by the way, there's a 20 pellet for yellows, so we'll do that as well. We'll get every pellet we can get. Uh, so, blow that up. Come on. Boom. And throw another one. And one more. I think that should do it. Or will it be one more? I'm pretty sure it's... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, whatever, we wasted a bomb rock. I don't care anymore. <laughs> there's another, There's also a 20 pellet for a red down there, so we'll get that as well. So, let's bring up our blues only. Uh, come on, this will be a bit of a challenge. Uh, yeah, okay, we didn't bring all of the blues up there. We, we brought enough that we... We brought enough. We brought... I think that was like 57, maybe a bit less. I don't really know. So, first of all, we should probably deal with this first, because that is our ship part. <laughs> So what they what these guys do is they will actually try to clamp their mouth shut and you basically have to attack the thing that's in them It's kind of weird. You gotta like attack this weird gelatinous thing that they have inside of them It can be a bit tedious. I know and it's pretty annoying But come on uh, Yeah, this is not gonna this is not gonna be very fast. This is probably gonna go pretty slowly <laughs> Just saying uh, come on also, the good, the good news is that blues are getting some screen time, because today in this episode we're going to be giving blues a lot more screen time than usual. Come on, oh my god, this is going so unbelievably slowly, this is ridiculous. Come on, hurry up! I can't, I don't know what's going on, why is it taking so long? Um, it usually doesn't take this long. Uh, oh, there we go, that's why, it, now, now it's going way faster, jeez. Uh, I guess I was just throwing them at the wrong angle. Come on! Yay! <laughs> Almost down. <laughs> now it's suddenly going super fast, and it's kind of annoying. There we go! New ship part! The Positron Generator. By combining batteries with solar cells, this machine can generate in incredible amounts of electricity. What a timely find. These instant space noodles will taste better when heated up. That's kind of funny. Uh, apparently even Olimar eats um, microwave dinners. Okay, so, let's, uh, go up here and take out this pearly plant plant, because these guys actually have a pearl inside of them. And you'll see what pearls do in a second, because it's pretty nice. It is actually really, really helpful, what they can give you. So, of course, this will go a lot faster now that we're finally getting these Pikmin to actually attack a lot faster. Come on. I don't know why, like, sometimes they go faster, but other times they don't. Uh, okay. Come on. Attack it. Attack! Alright, fine. I don't attack. Uh, throw it right there. Come on, you guys can do it. You guys can do it. I believe in you. Just hurry up. It doesn't usually take this long to just do it. No, we're, we're, we're halfway through the day, and this is taking forever. Uh, maybe I'll just, I'll just cut ahead to when we finally get it out. There we go, and now we gotta go deal with the other one, so let's go do that, I guess. There we go, I finally discovered the trick, you have to attack the pearl itself, not the tongue. Well, that would have been a lot nicer to know sooner. <laughs> that was a huge waste of time, actually, so we should work pretty quickly. Let's get these blues to get this down, uh, and then... Oh wait, that's right, uh, we forgot to bring one of the... Um... Okay, we'll give this pearl to the yellows, because... You'll see what they do in a second, don't worry. Uh, so let's have these guys take that. Um, and I think we'll actually give the other pearl to the blues, just because they're so nice, and they took out all these pearly clam clams for us. <laughs> Jesus, that was actually very annoying. I don't know what was going on, why it was taking so long. That was, that was really weird. <laughs> Alright, so now let's uh, go over here give this to this, uh, and we'll get, have the rest of them carry back the Positron Generator. Then we'll also, uh, at the end of the day, we'll go carry back all the 20 pellets. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, actually, maybe we should carry back the 20 pellet right now. Wait a second. Okay, I thought that they were carrying back the red 20 pellet for a second there. I was like, what are you doing? Alright, so let's carry this back. There you go, there you go. Your eyes are all pretty awesome. Alright, so, uh, now, okay, we'll, we'll just whistle these guys back. Uh, we'll take these guys back to base, because they're don't, they aren't really needed, honestly. The um, they just really aren't needed. 
Wait, are any Pikmin... Yeah, there's one Pikmin back there. And I just want to make sure that... Okay, good. I think that's all the Pikmin. Um, I don't want to leave any behind, obviously. That'll be pretty annoying. So, now that we have that, we should get 20 of each kind of Pikmin out. Actually, first we should just pluck this. We should just pluck everything. Uh... Yeah, let's uh, let's just go before the day ends. We should probably carry back all the 20 pellets we can. I just don't want to run out of time to do that. Positron generator. This electric generator is so powerful that if you approach it carelessly, you'll get an electric shock. I've now recovered 15 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 14 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Good for you, Olimar. All right, so let's do this. Come on, work faster, work faster, work faster, work faster, work faster. Uh, once we have all these guys plucked, then we'll uh, take them, go get them to work on the, uh, obviously the 20 pellet, and then we'll get the rest of them to carry back the other 20 pellets. <laughs> oh man, um, we have two hours left in the day. Can we do this? Can we pull this off? Can we get... Okay, one of the 20, pe 20 pellets just got carried back, obviously. Um, get this to carry this back. Um... Oh man, I'm just trying to work very, very quickly right now. No, no, no. Guys, 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 guys. Come on. Okay, fine. Steal a nectar for yourself. I don't care. Uh, as long as we just work quickly. So, get all of the yellows, obviously. Um, and we need to get all of the blues. And, oh man, we should put the rest of these guys away. So, put the rest of the blues away. Um, so, we actually have quite a few blues in our party. So, sure, put those guys away. Come on, guys. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Alright, there we go. So, now we should just work very, very quickly, get the rest of these reds out. Um, and, yeah, then I think that's it. Um, of course, we'll be doing the uh, day 9 as well, but it won't be the entire day, because all that we'll be showcasing day 9 for is just to battle that enemy. We won't be getting any ship parts tomorrow, unfortunately, but uh, in the meantime, yeah, <laughs> we'll at least have this done. So, let's get our... Come on, we need to work very, very quickly if we're going to do this. So, come on. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, fine. We, we won't give any of them to the uh, to the yellows. Let's just get the red carried back. Like I've said a million times before, uh, yellows are not very useful. Let's just get this carried back. Uh, it's almost the end of the day. Can we do this? Can we do this? You know what? Sure. Let's try. Let's try to get all of these 20s. Uh, let's let's get the 20 uh, pellet right here. Come on. Throw all of our yellows up there. We can do it. Alright, it's almost sundown. Hurry up. Sure. This might work. This might work. Uh, we don't need to worry about that 5 pellet, obviously. We can just carry this back. And we should carry back all the- sorry, we should whistle back all the Pikmin that are right here. Oh man, I'm actually so nervous right now. Okay, whistle back these Pikmin. Uh, make sure that they don't die at the end of the day. I don't want to leave any Pikmin behind, obviously. Uh, I think we can actually do this. I think this will work. Um, I just... Okay. <laughs> I'm... As you can tell, I'm actually pretty nervous. This is... This... These kinds of games, uh, I like them a lot. But they do make me oddly nervous. Very, very nervous, actually. Just like... I just mean it's pretty difficult to actually pull everything off, uh, properly. Okay, good. We did it! We did it! We have 452. We, we actually sprouted so many Pikmin today, it's ridiculous. Alright, that's that. We actually got everything back. I'm pretty proud with myself. Though the whole Pearly Clam Clam incident did definitely uh, ruin a lot of things, we did manage to pull it off. Alright, so now that's the end of day 8, and we'll just do sort of half day for day 9. Today's uh, episode may will definitely be a lot longer than usual, but uh, that's just because I'm showcasing all the stuff you can do in the impact site. So yeah, today went pretty smoothly. I d we didn't definitely didn't lose any Pikmin because it was just the impact site, and the impact site is pretty peaceful. There's like no enemies here except for, of course, the Mimuda. Uh, yeah, wait, did I mention? Yeah, that guy's called the Mimuda. <laughs> I hope I did mention it. Mimudas, uh, strangely, believe it or not, they are known as the god of Pikmin. It's kind of weird. They're like, apparently Pikmin see them as like a god or something. Alright, eight days since impact. There are now only 15 parts that I still need to retrieve. Will I be able to recover the remaining parts in 22 more days? Surely there are some parts that are not absolutely necessary. If my ship is not complete my day 30, the only way I will find out is to try to lift off. I just recalled the day I took my son for a ride in this spaceship. He was so happy. I shall tell him of this journey when I return. And I shall return, I must! I can already see the look of wonder on his precious face as I describe my adventures with the Pikmin. That is so sad! Oh my god. 
but you can tell today we spurted quite a few Pikmin, and that's because the pearls that the pearly clam clamps leave behind give you 50 Pikmin each. So we definitely got quite a few Pikmin today. So today, uh, for day nine, uh, we're just gonna be landing here and getting out our blues again, because there's another enemy we can fight here. <laughs> and once we defeat it, then I'm just gonna skip to the end of the day, and we'll just just end things off. <laughs> uh, this I've actually recorded three episodes back to back because I am um, trying to get some episodes ready to go. Uh, all right, so we just get out exactly 100. Uh, let's just get out 100 yet yeah, blues. <laughs> Because, um, we're gonna need only blues for this, surprisingly. It may seem weird, but trust me, you'll see what we're talking about in just a moment. Once it- Once everybody gets out, obviously, it takes forever for them all to get out. Alright, so, um, let's not worry about- Yeah, let's not worry about the flint beetle, uh, because, um, yeah, we don't really need it right now. We just- All that we're here to do right now is showcase this guy! This is the Gulix, and oh my god, he just attacked me. Yeah, the Gulix is basically just this big, uh, water thing. It's weird. What you gotta do is actually attack its, like, little, um, miniature membrane thing. Uh, because what it'll actually do is it, if anything touches its weird bouncy membrane, then they'll go flying. So, basically, you just gotta keep attacking it with your blues. Uh, it's pretty harmless, it's pretty easy, and doesn't really serve much too much of a purpose. It's an, a completely optional boss. Nothing here is required. You don't need to fight any of these bosses. Uh, they're just optional, obviously. And you can just consider them mini bosses, and all that they do is just give you stuff. Um, they don't give you any ship parts. They don't give you anything. All that you do is just fight them. So, um, yeah, it does. It, this guy does obviously have quite a bit of health. It's uh, weird, actually, how much health this guy actually has. Um, yeah, it's gonna take quite a while to actually kill him. So, as we sit here waiting for the Blue Pippin to finally just murder him, I guess we can talk about a few things. So, the Gulix here, uh, yeah, it'll appear on day 9 and onward, um, on, like, on odd-numbered days, obviously. Uh, and, yeah, so, like, like I've said, uh, earlier today, or this episode at least, uh, the impact site is a great place to go if you're running low on Pikmin, or if you just want to raise your Pikmin numbers. If you're just saying, screw it, I don't have anything to do today, you can just land here and just collect a million Pikmin. It's like, uh, my second playthrough of this game, I got over a thousand Pikmin just because of this one area. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, um, this is probably going to be the last time that we ever land in the impact site, because we don't need to do much else here. I might, like, um, maybe, like, before we, uh, maybe at the end of the Let's Play, I might land here once just to, um, get a few more Pikmin or whatever. Whatever it is, we'll just be, uh, this is probably just, this place pretty much serves no purpose other than raising your Pikmin numbers and getting two ship parts. So yeah, this guy takes forever to kill, seriously, this is taking a long time. Uh, <laughs> uh, he'll basically try to reach out to you, and if you touch it, it's a bouncy thing, then everybody goes flying. But, um, jeez, it just takes forever. This is ridiculous, actually. And, come on, almost dead. Yeah, there we go, and it just explodes into a weird misty water thing. And, um, so we can have our Pikmin carry those pellets back, and then I think we're gonna end the day. Because those pellets obviously serve some purpose. <laughs> they are designed to make more Pikmin. <laughs> obviously, we've seen that before already, a million times over. Uh, so let's put away our blues and just get out, um... 25, yeah, let's, no, 30, 30, um, yellows and just 10 reds, uh, so then we can carry it all back really quickly. Bye, blues, you've gotten a lot of screen time in this episode, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, okay, alright, take forever. <laughs> yeah, it does annoy me just how long it takes for them to actually get inside the onion. Alright, so, 30, 30, there we go, and then we'll get 10 reds because, um, that's enough to carry back that one red pellet. Um, I know that yellows aren't really that useful, and you aren't going to be using them a whole lot, but I do want to raise their numbers just in case, because you never know when you'll lose Pikmin, and so it's a good idea to just have as many Pikmin as you can. So, uh, down there. Yeah, we have over 450 Pikmin, and that's just in the span of this one episode. Uh, so if you can tell just how many Pikmin you can raise in the impact site, yeah, it's pretty crazy. And there will always be 20 pellets here, and there will always be the pearly clam clamps here. Um, yeah, everything in this area is worth it. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, so yeah. Oh. Okay, fine, they can take a while to carry that back, I don't really care. Uh, so let's get the rest of these guys- let's get the rest of these pellets carried back, and then we'll just end the episode. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, um, don't really know much what else to talk about. Uh, tomorrow we'll definitely be going back to the Distant Spring, because, um, we haven't been there for two days. Uh, and today we, we uh, didn't really make a lot of progress, it was just to show off some optional things, but, uh, the, um, the Distant Spring is definitely a place that we're gonna be going to. We're gonna- we won't- we probably won't be going back to the Forest of Hope and the, um, Forest Naval for a while. We'll probably return there once we've completed maybe half or three quarters of the Distant Spring. We're gonna be, like, rotating between them all. Uh, because we're almost done the Forest of Hope and we're almost done the Forest Naval, so it wouldn't hurt to go back there to finish them off soon. And there is one thing that we need- definitely need to get done in the Forest of Hope. Two things, actually, that we should have done a long time ago. So, maybe in two episodes, uh, we'll be heading back to the, um, to the Forest of Hope, because we definitely need- we definitely need to make a return there. We haven't been there in, uh, what, um, we haven't been there since day three, actually. <laughs> so that was six days ago, or five episodes, I guess, because this is day eight and nine. Alright then, so, that's all that we had to do today. <laughs> Pretty cool, we have 60 Pikmin, uh, 472 in total, so we'll end the day, we'll go to sunset. I know that today we didn't make a lot of progress, and, I mean, sometimes that might not happen. I mean, the past few days we have been going a bit slowly with the series, with this Let's Play, but, um, I guarantee you that the next few days we will be, uh, picking up the pace a bit more. I just wanted to focus the past few days on just raising our Pikmin numbers, because you know how, how dire it was. We, by day 8, or day 7, we only had, like, 250 Pikmin, and by that point in the game you should have a lot more Pikmin, trust me. <laughs> Okay, we did it. Uh, nine days since impact. The Pikmin always carry their prey back to the onions. Close ob observation indicates that taking food pellets to onions of the same color results in the release of larger numbers of Pikmin seeds. I've also found ways to group Pikmin by color. I can hold A to grab one for a moment, or I can press X to dismiss them all. So yeah, we sprouted 20 Pikmin today, and we have sprouted 505 in total. So we'll save, and yeah, we are exactly 10 days into the Let's Play. We have 15 parts remaining, and we have 10 days, sorry, 20 days to do it. 10 days, that'd be ridiculous. But yeah, uh, so we're looking pretty good so far. So next time, we'll return to the Distant Spring, and we'll collect a few more ship parts. See you guys later. Bye.